everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is 6.30 in the morning and I'm heading down to my kitchen right now. My pantry light always turns on on its own the minute it sees me walking, it's really scary. Um, I'm heading into my pantry now. I'm just gonna grab my kettle because I am gonna make my lemon water and show you guys what I eat in a day when I am on the KG MTL challenge and pretty much every other day of my life. 90% of the time. So I'll take filtered water. This isn't a Brita. I forget the name of it. It's called a Santevia. I'll put it into my kettle. About two glasses. And I warm it up to about 50 degrees. So you want it lukewarm. If you don't have time to do the whole kettle situation, no problem. Just don't do it cold. Don't do it hot. Do a room temp water or Boil water, put half a cup, and then put a little bit of cold water. Point is, you don't want to wake your organs up with like too cold or too hot. She wants to be like a nice gentle temperature. So I always say lukewarm, but if you can't do that, do room temp. All right, so while my water is warming up, I'm just gonna show you guys, well, it's ready. I'm gonna show you guys what I have here. So I have half an organic lemon. I got my lemon squeezer and Celtic salt. Probably my most asked question is, um, like what is that spice you put in your water? It's Celtic salt. It's filled with minerals. It has, I believe like double the minerals of a Himalayan salt. So I've been using this. This helps me hold my hydration for the day. Just gonna pour my water in here. This glass is about two cups. To make things a bit easier, I'll take the uh, back side of the lemon, cut it off, pick my song. And throw that in here. Turn on Instagram. Now I add the day of the week. All done. Right. So this is how I start my day every day. Two cups of warm water with half of a lemon and sea salt. I use Celtic salt. You could use sea salt. You could use Himalayan salt. You could use no salt. Salt helps detoxify the body. It helps hold your hydration in place. And it helps replenish the minerals after you've been sleeping. So that's why I add it. And that's how I start my day. So after I make my lemon water and drink my lemon water, I usually give myself 20 to 30 minutes, if I can, depending on how much time I have in the morning, before making my Bulletproof coffee, which I'm gonna start right now. So the way that I make my Bulletproof coffee, um, I will link in the, whoa, the light is bright this morning. Um, I will put the link to my Bulletproof coffee video in the description on this video, I basically use two Nespresso pods, one black, one purple, and I make two coffees, the bigger ones, then I add in all my ingredients, blend it up, and then I drink it. currently like 7.05 a.m. and I'm going to enjoy this delicious frothy bulletproof coffee. It's my favorite way to start my day. I have a workout today at 9 o'clock. I will be leaving at 8.30 because I'm going to be walking there. So I'll drink this now. I'm going to do a little morning segment. I think today I'm going to talk about organic food because it is the KGMTL challenge and then um, I'm gonna go work out and then after my workout, I will eat breakfast. So this really holds you over for the workout um, For a few hours, but I do also eat breakfast. I think that's a really big misconception um, Because I think that most people who do Bulletproof coffee are generally on the keto situation or they're doing intermittent fasting 
in my case, um, this would be breaking the fast because there's gelatin in it and yakon syrup. So um, I eat breakfast after, just a few hours after. Okay, so I am back from my workout. It is 10.10 10 a.m. I just took a quick body shower and I'm going to make my breakfast now. I'm gonna be making my coconut rolled oats. I love these. When I don't have steel cut oats that I prepared for the week, I'll do this. Steel cut oats are probably like my go-to breakfast, but this one's quicker, it takes five minutes and it is delicious. So let me show you what I put in them. I love having oats for breakfast because they are a high soluble fiber food, meaning that they really keep you full for a long time. So this morning I did a muscular workout. So I kind of will be like more hungry throughout the day. And so having oats really just like keeps me full, keeps me satisfied. And it really balances out your blood sugar levels for the day. And I like to make them fresh. Okay, so here I have the ingredients that are gonna go into my oats. So here I have some organic gluten-free rolled oats. Non-GMO is best because oats can be sprayed with glyphosate, which is a chemical and it's horrible for you. So I have my rolled oats coconut sugar, shredded coconut, hemp seeds, flax seeds, some blueberries for after. I'm going to do it all in this little pot. I'm gonna turn this baby on. I'm gonna add in my cashew milk, homemade cashew milk this week. Something that I do with my homemade nut milks, and I will link the video um, of me making my homemade nut milks, is they are a lot thicker than the conventional like store-bought ones because they're homemade and there's a lot more nut in them. So what I do is, like for this recipe for one person, it's one cup of nut milk or water. So what I'll do is I'll do half nut milk, half water, just to dilute it a little bit more because otherwise I find it a little bit chunky. So I'll take my one measuring cup and I'll just fill it up to the halfway mark. And then I will take filtered water and just fill it up full and try not to spill it. Okay, so here I've added in my milk water mixture. I'm gonna turn my stove on to a medium heat and I'm gonna add in the half cup of rolled oats. You could wait for this to boil. I just sort of put it all in together because I find it just works the same. Use a little spatula, just stir this up and we're just gonna make the oats completely normally and just let them sort of absorb the water and then I'm gonna add in the other ingredients. So you'll see it will start to come to a little bit of a boil. You just wanna keep mixing it. What's really nice about rolled oats is that they take literally just like five minutes to cook. So this is a quick breakfast and it is so delicious and satisfying. So you just wanna keep mixing it up and then add in the other ingredients. Okay, so as you can see, it's like getting a lot less liquidy and more oat-like. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add in one scoop of Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides for extra protein and all the beauty benefits. I'm just gonna mix that in. It really just dissolves to nothing. It dissolves to nothing and it's a great way to get in some extra protein, amino acids, and get your collagen in for the day. And get in my extra um, serving of collagen because I've already had half of it with my Bulletproof coffee. Then I'm gonna take about a teaspoon of coconut sugar, throw that in there, and like a big sort of tablespoon of unsweetened shredded coconut and throw it in. And the heat is on like a low simmer. I'm just gonna mix this all together. It's still like nice and creamy. And I'm just gonna leave it on a little bit of the simmer for another minute and then I'm gonna remove it from the all heat. All right, so here are my oats with the collagen, coconut sugar, and shredded coconut. Now I'm just adding in the teaspoon of hemp seeds, teaspoon maybe a little more than a teaspoon of flax. Mix that all up and mix it in. And then I'm gonna top it with my berries. I love raspberries and these are organic blueberries. And you wanna make sure your berries are organic because they're filled with pesticides. And that is my breakfast. All right, so it is lunchtime. It is 1.15. I always in my fridge have some cut up organic, I think it's like romaine or curly lettuce. 
many days I'll just throw together a salad. So I have my romaine, I have radishes, I have small bell peppers, baby bell peppers, um, a small avocado, two hard boiled eggs, and some chopped carrots. And I'm gonna top it with my go-to vinaigrette. I will link the recipe to this vinaigrette in the description on this video. And that is my lunch, this will keep me full. And then in the afternoon, I'll have a snack. So it's about four o'clock right now, I'm getting a little bit hungry. I love having raw vegetables as an afternoon snack, especially carrots, radishes, and right now these are in season, the baby um, bell peppers, all organic. I love these because in the afternoon I really crave a crunch. So instead of doing chips or crackers or the usual, I'll do this. I buy this hummus at my local health food store. Otherwise you can just easily make it yourself. And I'll take about a tablespoon or two and um, just sort of dip my veggies into this. And it really satisfies me and kind of keeps me full until dinner. Okay, so it is about 6.15. I am about to eat dinner. I start cooking usually around like 5.30, 5.45. I would say that I eat home about five nights a week, five to six nights a week. I definitely go out to eat one or two nights. Tonight I am making a recipe from Clean Eating Goddess. It was an amazing website for recipes, all gluten-free, dairy-free, sort of within the challenge situation. I'm making her Asian, chicken Asian meatballs. I'm serving it with brown rice and steamed broccoli. So here are the meatballs. I prepared them. They're super clean. Uh, the sauce has a little bit of maple syrup in it. I always sort of half the amount of maple syrup or any time that a recipe calls for natural sugar, I kind of put a little bit less. So they are delicious. I just tried one. I have my brown rice cooking over here. I really like using long grain organic brown rice from Lundberg. And then this is some um, steamed broccoli. And I will show you the portion that I end up with. So here we go. This is my portion. I have about six mini little meatballs so it's probably around six ounces of protein these are organic chicken i have about a half cup of rice and a cup of steamed broccoli and that is my dinner i always like to have a little something sweet after dinner not much just something to sort of like give me a little bit of that sweet tooth and then i really don't eat for the rest of the night um this is who kitchen it is an incredible, incredible, it's actually a restaurant in New York and they make these amazing treats. So they have all different types of chocolate. I'm not even such a chocolate person, but I love this because it's flavored with coconut sugar so it's not ridiculously sweet. The ingredients are so clean, as you can see here. This is the cashew butter and vanilla bean and I really like it. There is nothing bad in here, nothing processed. No sugar alcohols, totally uh, KGMTL approved. I love their hunks also. These are the almond ones. Again, the ingredients are really, really clean and KGMTL challenge approved. These are probably my favorite hunks, the golden berries, because they're sour and they have a little bit of a bite to them. And so I will link this where you can buy them, but so delicious and such a great way to have something sweet to end off your night. All right, guys, so that is what I eat in the day. Uh, this is during the KGM Shell Challenge. However, on most days, I eat kind of the same way. Obviously, the dishes change up a bit. Please don't forget that I have a recipe page at KG's Kitchen on Instagram with tons of gluten-free, dairy-free, hydrogenated oil-free, refined sugar-free recipes. I also have another What I Eat in a Day here on YouTube that I will link below on this video. And if you check out my Instagram at KGMTL, I have what I eat in a day in my highlights and also um, recipes and KGMTL challenge ideas of things to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for other videos that you'd like to see. And I will see you guys next week.